it's obvious you're upset. What are you upset about? Yeah, I'm bloody upset today, Johnny. McDonald's. McDonald's in the US. What have they bloody done? What have they done? They've opened a fucking store with no humans operating it. Jesus Christ. That's right. There's no humans there, Johnny. It's all done by bloody AI technology. I mean, are we just going to stand around and let this fucking stuff take over? What? There's, there's no one there. Well, that's what they're saying. There could be some poor bloody people working for seven bucks an hour actually cooking the shit out the back, but we don't see them. We just, uh, it's all done by bloody, uh... yeah, Jimmy's got it here on his bloody show. So this is happening. So they have a fully all automated uh, McDonald's now. Remember they were always saying, well, if the McDonald's worker, this guy says, you asked for a $25 minimum wage, you got the first fully automated McDonald's in Texas. Okay, they did, nobody asked for that, and they're, they're not being paid that. Again, Who's that guy? if they can automate yeah. a McDonald's, they're going to do it. If they're not, if, if they can't, they won't. If they can, they will. It's got nothing to do with what the work, do you know what? I, I still go bowling sometimes. You know, they used to have guys who set the pins. They didn't get rid of those guys because they asked for a raise. <laughs> The whole goal <laughs> is to keep you from unionizing long yeah, enough for a robot to replace robot you. Robot to replace That's you. That's been the dream the whole time. <laughs> yes. Ever since they weren't allowed to use slaves anymore. That's right. Yeah, it's all done by AI shit. You place your order with nobody. And yeah. You wait by the bloody window and your shitty meal comes down this chute. And that's it. You pay with your card or whatever and it's... Uh, so here we go. So it says America's first ever fully automated McDonald's is here in Texas. Um, by the way, so Texas, they, they, I think they have one of the lowest minimum rage, wages. So again, yeah. this has nothing to do with the wage of the of the worker. This has to do with, can we replace them with a robot? Let's do it. <laughs> there it is. That's what it looks like. It's here and it's in Texas. But look at that. No people working there. Happiness is fixed in a bag. I mean, there's no time, Johnny, when this is going to be happening in supermarkets. You could bloody near do it in supermarkets now, here in Australia, and I'm sure in the US and uh, in England too. But, Johnny, it's just bloody McDonald's, for Christ's sake. Carol Lee says, yes, the company that made $3.44 billion in the last quarter and 13 for the prior... So they made $13 billion yeah. in profit, right? Is that what she's saying? I, I mean, uh, I'm sure that McDonald's does fine. <laughs> so you reckon this is just the beginning, Johnny? I mean, don't you worry about that. They're thinking about it. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see what all the middle to upper class people will say when robots take their jobs, too. Because it's coming. Are. All the... All I just can't see the human race falling over and just letting this shit happen without a whimper. <laughs> but they fight back and say, no, we're not going to put up with that anymore. But it's different now, and it's going to be increasingly different. You know, jobs are going to disappear, replaced by artificial intelligence and, and the new technologies. And fewer and fewer people among us will, will acquire skills quickly enough to keep up with the machines and the, and the artificial intelligence. There will, be a, there will be a constant loss of, you know, there will be jobs for a while, and then those jobs will be replaced by artificial intelligence. And those people will have to retrain again in some other niche uh, profession or skill. You know, that's going to be very difficult for people to contemplate. And to some extent, I just feel as if we've all been had. We, we, we were promised, we were promised for the last hundred years and more that jobs and careers were the route to happiness for men and then for women. Here's some bloody AI shit we can look forward to, in inverted commas, uh, look forward to in years to come. Internet of Things begins to evolve into the artificial intelligence of things. Everyday objects such as coffee machines and toothbrushes that collect data and are connected to the internet now possess AI. A second internet begins testing, dedicated to the artificial intelligence of things. Humanity tries to isolate humans and machines with separate internets.
artificial general intelligence emerges from a global network of connected quantum computers. It is able to see and understand the world at the level of any human. Learning and taking care of any task, it sets its own goals. It learns by having access to all of the knowledge in the digitized world, and also learns from the live data being fed to it by all of the connected devices from all around the world. People begin to question whether humanity has reached the technological singularity, a point in time when technological growth happens so fast that it becomes uncontrollable. The artificial general intelligence starts to work on building more powerful machines than itself, causing unforeseeable and irreversible changes to human civilization. Intelligence enables control, and humanity is nearing the end of the era where they are the superior intelligence. Patent offices become flooded by inventions designed by the new artificial general intelligence. Certain governments pay citizens a universal basic income, and in some areas, an AI is governing communities. Humans begin to lose the ability to understand the complexities and intelligence of the artificial general intelligence. It is building towards a greater goal that humans cannot yet understand. Word spreads of a new kind of AI that will soon be released by the artificial general intelligence. AI has exceeded human control. But there's a solution out there, Johnny. A solution to bloody AI. Chimpanzees. Chimps. Chimpanzees, Johnny. Yeah, chimpanzees. I mean, uh, they reckon that chimpanzees are entering into the Stone Age. There's uh, some, uh, I guess with the anthropologists, they're speculating that um, some primates have moved into the Stone Age right now. Oh. Yeah, so if you think about the Stone Age with ancient primates that became people, that process is happening right now with like chimpanzees and orangutans. Like this, what, you ever see the photo of the orangutan that spearfishes? No. It's crazy. He's hanging onto a tree with one hand and he's got a stick with the other hand. He's fucking stabbing at fish. Jeez. Yeah. They're so close to us. They're just like a few million years away. And uh, I think that we should grab hold of the chimpanzees as a species and start training them up, sending them to school. Uh, can't go down that track. You've been down this track before, Johnny, about sending chimpanzees to school. I don't think that's going to be the answer to this particular problem. Yeah, helping them jump there, all that fucking 500,000 years of evolution, we'll just jump straight into it and we could train chimpanzees to run the bloody stores and I reckon they'd do a damn sight better job than a fucking machine. I know your heart's in the right place, Johnny, but I'm not sure it's even ethical to be sending chimpanzees to school. Well, why not? I mean, are we just going to leave the poor old chimpanzees as dumbass bloody animals? Or do we know that their brain is big enough to take in all this sort of shit and we can send them to school only three or four days a week and uh, in no time you've got a trained workforce who would be happy to do it, probably for three bucks an hour. Well, I suppose they could run a bloody supermarket. Uh, would you be paying these chips? What sort of a, what, money? Well, you'd have to pay them something. You go... You can't just pay them in bananas and shit. The, what they're saying is, they're saying officially that they've entered uh, into the Stone Age. Oh boy. So like if we are watching, if you saw a, a human evolve from being a, a person that, you know, what we, whatever the fuck we used to look like when they first figured out fish hooks. Grunting. To, to, to today. You know, there's many, many generations of change and all, all sorts of different shit that we learned that we are watching literally the birth of that separation between, like, the regular chimps that are just chilling in the forest to the chimps that are starting to figure out tools and weapons. Right. And like, the first day we see a chimp make a fucking spear, like a spear, <laughs> sharpen it up and stab another chimp to death. <laughs> Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Well, the tasks aren't that hard, Johnny. You could train chimpanzees to bloody uh, run a McDonald's, surely. Oh, Jesus Christ. And you could have chimpanzees on the cash registers at supermarkets. Just with a bit of training, a bit of schooling. Holy shit. I think it's a very worthwhile idea. And I think David Attenborough should have a bloody say in this. I'm going to write to him. Perhaps as a compromise, Johnny, you could have a store run half by AI intelligence and half by chimpanzees. That could be a good bloody compromise. 